In this short video, we're going to go over the five common mistakes that land surveyors make when they buy RTK. My name is Rene Boudreau and I'm with Benchmark Survey Equipment. I've been selling survey equipment for a long time. So we've heard a lot of horror stories from people who have had a negative experience in buying RTK GPS. So this video is to help you make the right decision when you're looking to buy RTK. Mistake number one, disregard to future proofing of the product. So for example, when you buy an RTK system, them, you want to make sure that it sees the latest block three satellites. Block one and two are being decommissioned and if you have a receiver that only sees those satellites, your receiver is going to get worse monthly as these satellites get decommissioned. But if you have a receiver that can see the block three satellites, your receiver is going to get better with time as they add more satellites to each of the four constellations. Another example of future proof would be tilt. We're now currently on third generation tilt. You need to have a tilt sensor that can actually calibrate quickly in the field and saves you time. Mistake number two is overlooking the total cost of ownership. Uh, a good example of this is a network rover versus a basin rover combination. A network rover is very inexpensive to get into but the description cost over the life cycle of the product is going to add up. Matter of fact they will add up and be more than what a basin and rover package will be down the road. So you got to take a serious look at that when you're looking at the total cost of ownership. Now we have mistake number three, vendor independent software on your data collection. The last thing you want to do is invest in an RTK system that prevents you from using other brands of equipment. You want a software package that's completely independent that you can jump models and makes and use anything you want in the field. I personally would avoid any software that forces you to use in a certain ecosystem and you have to use that software. That's a big no-no in my opinion. Mistake number four is usability and training. So first of all, is the equipment easy to use or do you need to be an engineer to run this stuff? Nowadays, you shouldn't have to work too hard to make this stuff work. It should just be intuitive and very easy to use. Does the vendor offer standard training courses? Do they offer one-on-one -on -one Zoom training? Do they have a training academy? Do they have tips and tricks, cheat sheets? Do they have a library, a knowledge base that can help you and save you time and money when it comes to training? This brings us to number five and I think the most important mistake that you need to avoid and that is after post-sale support. Does the vendor have a support? support system to support you because there are issues that are going to come up. You cannot spend this kind of money. You cannot spend 15, 20, 25 and $30,000 on one of these packages and not have professional support and service behind that product investment. It's really important that you, instead of choosing a product with all the bells and whistles, you probably want to focus on who the vendor is. Do a little bit of research on who the vendor is and what the vendor has in place to support you in the field. Can they help you with anything that comes up quickly with well-trained staff? You can test them. You can call them up while you're evaluating whether you're trying to decide whether this equipment is for you. Test their technical support department. That's a really good tip. Another good tip if you're looking to buy RTK is why don't you just Google the vendors Google reviews. Find out what the customers are saying about the vendors after sale service and support. What kind of Google review rating do they have? Do they have a five-star rating? Is it just one or two or is there a lot of people that are complaining about these vendors? That'll give you a lot of missing pieces of the puzzle. Here's an another important tip to consider. Does the vendor offer an unconditional money back guarantee? That is like really important if you get into something where you bought something and you're not quite happy, can you get your money back? There you have it, the five most common mistakes land servers make when they buy an RTK. Number one, disregard to future proofing of the product. Number two, overlooking the total cost of ownership. Number three, does the system use vendor independent software. Number four, failing to consider usability and training. And number five, what kind of support system does the vendor have in place for post-sale support? 